Welcome back to my channel, the Linking Mask. In this video, we are going to solve this fun little mass problem that says find the value of m in this interesting equation. To start the solution, I'm going to work on this left hand side that says m times m times n. So, how can we simplify this one? As you know, m can be written in the form of m raised to the power of 1. Also, this one and this one. So, what do we have here? Same base. I write one base and simply add exponent 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 so this is our left hand side top m cube how about bottom m 1 m plus 1 m plus 1 m. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 m this is our left hand side right hand side 6 6 can be written in the form of 6 over 1 now i'm going to use cross product and continue the solution 1 times m cube is gonna be 1 times m cube equals right hand side 6 times 3m so let's see what do we have left hand side 1 times m cube is m cube right hand side 6 times 3 18 m now I'm going to transpose this 18m to the left hand side. It is going to be m cube minus 18m equals 0. To continue the solution, what is the common factor between m cube and 18m? Absolutely m. So I write m here. I factor m out of this expression. It is going to be m cube divided by m is m squared minus 18m divided by m is 18 equals 0. What do we have here? If the product of two factors is 0, at least one of them must be 0. So I use this and write this m equals 0 or m squared minus 18 equals 0. So this one can be our answer. But I don't know this is the valid answer or not. And how about this one? m squared minus 18. To continue the solution and solve this, I'm going to rewrite this 18 in the form of second root of 18 to the power of 2. Look, they are same. These two as exponent. These two square root can be cancelled off. So 18 can be written in the form of second root of 18 to the power of 2. So it is going to be m squared minus second root of 18 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now to continue the solution, I am going to follow this algebraic identity that says a squared minus b squared can be written in the form of a minus b times a plus b. Right. I am going to follow this structure to continue the solution. So, our expression, our equation is going to be first term m minus second term s square root of 18 times first term m plus second term s square root of 18 equals 0. Again, the product of two factors is 0. So at least one of them must be 0, which means 1 m minus second root of 18 equals 0 or second one m plus second root of 18 equals zero so from here m minus second root of 18 equals zero so the value of m is gonna be positive second root of 18 let's see this is our answer or not and from here m plus second root of 18 equals zero so the value of m is gonna be negative second root of 18. And can we continue the simplifying or not? m equals positive second root of 18. So m is going to be second root of 18 can be written in the form of 9 times 2, right? So m is going to be second root of 9 times second root of 2. And this is second root of 9 is 3 times second root of 2. This is our next answer. And how about this one? m is going to be, you know, second root of 18 is same as 3 times second root of 2. 
and these are third answer. So we have three answers here. Let me write them here. M equals zero, answer number one. M equals three times second root of two, answer number two. And last one, M equals negative three times second root of two, answer number three. Now, are them the valid answers or not? To see they are valid answer or not, we need to plug them in our original equation and check them. What was our original equation? Let me write it. It was m times m times m over m plus m plus m equals 6. And we have three answers that they are m equals 0. So let's check this first one. I plug zero here it is gonna be zero times zero times zero over zero plus zero plus zero equals six so on top zero bottom zero equals zero what is zero over zero zero no this is undefined equals zero it is possible absolutely not so m equals zero cannot be our answer next one m equals three times second root of two let's plug it in our original equation three times second root of two times three times second root of two times three times second root of two on top bottom we have three times second root of two plus 3 times second root of 2 plus 3 times second root of 2 right side 6 so what do we have left hand side 3 times 3 9 9 times 3 27 second root of 2 times second root of 2 is second root of 2 to the power of 2 these two as exponent these two as root can be cancelled off so this is Two. and this second root of 2 I write it here bottom 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 so we have 9 times second root of 2 left hand side right hand side we have 6 9 divided by 9 1 27 divided by 9 3 so it is going to be 3 times 6 3, three times 2 6 times second root of 2 top bottom second root of 2 equal 6 so this second root of 2 and this second root of 2 can be cancelled off 6 equals 6 so m equals 3 times second root of 2 is our valid answer and last one m equals negative 3 times second root of 2 let's see this is our valid answer or not so i'm going to plug it in our original equation, it is going to be negative three times second root of two times negative three times second root of two times negative three times second root of two over negative three times second root of two plus negative three times second root of two plus negative 3 times second root of 2 equals 6 so what is this negative times negative positive positive times negative negative i write negative here 3 times 3 9 9 times 3 27 i write it here and second root of 2 times second root of 2 is gonna be 2 and this second root of 2 over negative 3 plus negative 3 negative 6 plus negative 3 negative 9 times second root of 2 equals 6 let's see they are equals or not so negative 9 divided by negative 9 is 1 negative 27 divided by negative 9 is 3 3 times 2 6 what do we have here second root of Two. top bottom we have second root of two right side six 
Now this second root of 2 and this second root of 2 can be cancelled off. So 6 equals 6. So we can say this one which means m equals negative 3 times second root of 2 is our valid answer. So our equation has two answers. m equals 3 times second root of 2 and m equals negative 3 times second root of 2. Remember, if you use different way to solve this question, please let me know. It always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be. Have fun.